Hey guys, welcome to rhinotutorial.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the command loft works within Rhino. First, I'm going to show you how to do it the wrong way, and then I'm going to show you the correct way. Just to demonstrate how to use this tool correctly. I'm going to type in loft, or you can find loft here in the services toolbar, and this button here is loft. But I would I prefer to type it in, I'll type in loft and I'm going to do it the wrong way, I'm going to click the middle one, the background one and then the foreground one in this order and you can see why it's wrong because we're not getting what we would expect to get you can see how the curves intersect each other and it's not a very nice neat surface so I'm going to go to cancel, press escape and We'll try again the correct way, type in loft, enter, and I'm going to select the curves in the correct order, going from background, middle to foreground, enter, and now you can see we have a much nicer loft the way we wanted it, and we've created a nice sculptural 3D loft. Now you can play around with all these styles. Sometimes they change drastically, like here. Sometimes they change less, so play around with it with this to understand it more. And developable, see what this does. Interesting. See what uniform does, preview. And you can turn it into a solid as well by clicking closed loft and now we have a solid shape and we'll leave it at this here we go this is what we've created simply from having three curves and using the loft tool this concludes the lofts tutorial and thank you for watching a rhino tutorial